Hello guys, my name is Vipin and I'm very happy to bring you guys another video on how to create a test bench. So if you have been using Silings ISC tool before, you would have noticed that you could create automatic test bench using the tool itself. But then when they jumped to their new tool, Vivado, they removed this really nice feature. So you would have to start writing your test bench from scratch. But you don't have to be so sad about it. There are a lot of websites which uh, can help you achieve this. So I want to show you this with an example. So I will be considering two examples. One is a sequential circuit with a clock and another will be a combina combinational circuit without a clock just to get you used to both the type of designs so first let's see let's take an example so i go to my blog vhdlguru.blogspot.com go to the example codes section where there is a list of codes which you could use to learn or to try out things and let's try something simple okay 4 bit ripple carry adder using basic gates yeah why not so this is a combinational circuit there is no clock in it as you can see uh, a num1 and a num2 both are inputs <coughs> and a sum which again is a standard logic vector is a output all the inputs and outputs are 4 bit and then there is a carry which is again an output so a very simple ripple carry adder the using gate level modeling you can see here so let's test this i mean there is a already a test bench available here in this blog but i want to see how the test bench which is created online will look like so let's try it out so i'm going to copy this code I have the Vivado already open. Let's create a new source. Add or create design sources next. Create file. Let's see adder is the same <coughs> entity name as in the blog code. Okay. Finish. Cancel this for the moment so we have created the source so under design sources you can see the file rc underscore adder let's double click and open it it's a blank file so we have copied the code before we are just gonna paste it here All right. that's it control s to save so now i want to test this code i want to see if it is working well or not writing a test bench from scratch for a simple module like this is unnecessary there's a lot of uh, redundant work in that so i would like to create a test bench online automatically at least the shell of the test bench so from googling i found that this uh, website uh, uh, dulos.com has a utility for creating VHDL test bench so let's try it out so if you go to this link this link will be pasted under the video so you go here in the box paste your code and click on generate VHDL test bench a new window opens up with the test bench so you can ignore this configuration declaration part and uh, this part it says that there is no reset uh, detected and things like this so what we are interested in is starts from here probably we don't need this part let's start from the library 
until here you copy it open vivado go to sources click on the plus sign to create a new source say that add or create simulation sources click next create file just go back and notice what is the test bench name it says rc r score under tb tb stands for test bench rc underscore adder underscore tb ok finish cancel yes so under simulation sources your file is there which is an empty file we copy the code we paste the code which was copied from the Dulos website so when we look through it all right uh, pretty simple the libraries are declared the entity is empty because it's a test bench there is no input or output uh, we have the component declared here which is the design we want to test all the <coughs> all the inputs and outputs are declared as signals so you can see that the entity we want to test is instantiated as UUT unit under test it's called <coughs> with the port mapping done properly and there is a process where in between these two lines these two common lines we are supposed to input our test bench stimulus and then end so all this redundant typing is saved by just few clicks and so it's really useful this uh, this thing our part is just to enter the test inputs here so we are testing a ripple carry adder for two four bit inputs so let's say num1 is equal to equal to this is 6 num2 is let's say 7 and wait for 100 nanosecond we want few more inputs ready save the file now we have so we have the file you can see there is a question mark appearing under that uh, under the simulation file because we didn't set the design file as a simulation file so what we have to do is we have to right click here and click on move to simulation sources and then the question mark disappears and it appeared properly so now we have the test bench ready let's just go ahead and run the simulation run behavioral simulation okay the waveform is opening up let's maximize the window and zoom out so that we can see the waveform clearly use the scroll bar so i want to check if the addition is working properly let me change the radix into unsigned decimal a bit of zooming in so 6 plus 7 13 correct 3 plus 11 14 correct 
14 plus 2 is 0. Why? Yes, because the sum is only 4 bit and the number 16 is 5 digit in binary. So the sum becomes 0, but you can see that the carry has become 1. So 1 and 4 zeros. So voila, the code is working. So this is how you use Vivado to simulate your design. Also, this is how you create a test bench using Dulo's test bench uh, creation utility. It's uh, pretty simple, you don't have to do anything. So, let's try out another example. So, this was a combinational circuit without a clock. I want to I want to test a design with a clock. So, what could I do? So, let's try out a 4 bit ring counter. So, this is the code. You have the test bench here too, but uh, we are not interested in that at the moment. Let's just copy this code and we are gonna close this waveform for the moment. Close the code too. Go to sources, remove both of these files. and add a new file add or create design sources next create file let's go back and check what is the name ring underscore counter let's type it down here okay finish cancel we want a blank file because we have already the code from the website so under design sources we have the fi file name double click it control v to copy the to paste the code from the blog okay. and now we need to create a test bench from uh, the dolos tool so for that we go to the website paste the code which we want to create test bench for click generate vhdl test bench so <coughs> test bench is ready within like half a second so everything looks uh, very similar to the first one except that this time because it's a clocked design we have few more lines so there is a clock period which says 10 nanosecond you could change it to 20 nanosecond 100 nanosecond whatever you like and there is a clocking process so this creates a clock for your simulation this is a very standard uh, design you could if you look through the blog there are in almost every test bench you would see this this kind of code so this is automatically created by dualers because it noticed that you are using a clock and it created the code for you so we are gonna copy the whole thing and then we click here add or create simulation sources next create file This is the same, make sure that, that this is the same name as the test bench entity name given by the Dulos test bench creator tool. Click OK, click finish, cancel, yes. So under simulation sources, uh, your new file should appear. Over here, double click, paste, control S to save, and just as before click here and make 
move to simulation sources so that uh, it appears under here again this is the area where we want to enter our uh, stimulus which we will use to see if the code is working or not so this is a ring counter it's pretty simple you don't have too much input to do it's just uh, reset and uh, clock clock is already been created it's just reset you have to put so let's do it this way reset i is equal to 1 wait for wait for two clock periods then remove the reset and wait for let's say 10 clock periods and then apply reset again and wait for one clock period and then this statement becomes true stop the clock and the clock will be stopped so we have the test bench ready let's simulate okay the waveform is ready <coughs> let's uh, zoom out to see the changes clearly so it's a ring counter and I don't have to explain anything in words you can just see clearly how the output is rotating from one bit to another so you, you have a one here then it jumps here then here then here then it restarts from zero again one two three and so on so the interesting thing is that when the reset is high the output is always from the LSB bit which is zero so you can see that from here and here the output is reset to zero 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 one and you can also see that when the stop clock is true the clock is not alternating anymore and yeah and the reset is zero it means the counter is working how it is supposed to work okay seems the code is working good one all right so guys today we were mainly looking at how to create an automatic test bench using the dolos test bench creation Tool. Also, we worked around with the uh, Vivado simulation tool. So, I hope uh, you have these tools installed in your computer and you are going to try this. If it doesn't work for you for some reason, just let me know. I will try my best to help you. Alright, thank you guys. Have a good day.